Hello everybody, I am back and we're on a new map. I have built a new house, I'm kind of far from it as you can see. If you look, where, where's my house? Ah, here we go, my new home is 634.21 meters to the north-northeast from here. And I actually bought this skeleton spawner here. I was lucky to get one early in the map, but I bought this skeleton spawner from B Green 44 back on August 21st. It's daylight outside, so let's go take a look out here. I haven't I haven't even been around out here to see who might even own this place, but um no biggie. Uh, the the Oh, fall in the water. Way to go, genius. Okay. The uh, skeleton spawner, like all the spawners that I build, they're all public anyway. Anybody's welcome to use them. So I don't, I can't imagine anybody objecting to me building it there. Let's see. There's a house over there. Whose house is that? Let's go see. I'll take you down and show you the spawner in a minute. Oh. Uh, that is Sonic Kiwi. Sonic! Kind of a small house for somebody who's been on here so long. <laughs> Guess he hadn't had time to do anything. Let's see. Sonic Kiwi's Claw. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to mess with that. Let's head back over here to the Skelly Farm. Whoa! Hup. <clears throat> and this spawner I had to do a little differently. I could not build up because, you know, you have to go up uh, from the floor or of where you want the skellies to land. You have to go up like 23 blocks, 20, yeah, 23 blocks from that and then drop them down. Well, I didn't have nearly that amount of room here because the spawner is just pretty much right down there, like right there. So... I had to break my knees and my ankles. No, I had to drop them down and bring them back up. So, have I done? Oh, got some stone in there. Anyway, let's see. Here's the, the level where the killing floor is at, where we started out. Uh, the spawner is in there, and behind that block right there, let's see, you, you can see it move. There, see him? There they go. Whoop. <laughs> anyway, it's the same typical spawner design that you would have for taking them up. This one brings them down, drops them 23 blocks. And I actually had to move this down because I had them coming up flush with the, that floor there where the, the water is at. And I couldn't get them concentrated in one place and it was making things slow. So, anyway... They drop down there, and let's see. <clears throat> All right, they land here on this pressure pad, pressure plate. That makes the piston kick them off into the water because I noticed I was having a hard time making them stay. Actually, go into the water. See that? He's looking at me like, dude, what'd you do that for? Now they, they land there, they take their damage, piston pushes them into the water, they get pushed, oh, sometimes they die. They get pushed over here, they go up the water ladder. Come on, show the people how you climb the ladder. Come on, dude, let's go. Yep, there we go, get in there. And up. Bye, see you at the top. Anyway, they land over here, sometimes they die, I don't know why. Uh, sometimes they don't die because this is extended, and they fall on it, and it retracts, and then they only fall to two blocks. So they don't take the full 23 block damage, so you have to hit them like four times. That's no biggie either. Uh, <coughs> I really need to cough. Um, excuse me just a second, I'm going to flip my mic up here. <coughs> Okay, much better. Now then, 
as you can see, I got them all concentrated into one slot like I did in my old one. And we take this uh, splash potion of health. Let's just go down here and do it right here. And kill them. Look at that. I gained 17 levels. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, uh, bones, arrows, uh, there we go, bows. Now, I was keeping the bones here, but I made a donation chest, and I'll take you to see that soon. Uh, just filling this up, and I'm keeping the arrows myself until I get a full, um, a full double chest of them. Then I'll start donating them in my donation chest. These guys are still falling. Okay, let's go home, and I'm going to show you my home now. My new home. Uh, it is a hole in the wall. Uh-oh, I need to turn the chat back on for just a minute. Options, chat settings. Let's show that. Wait, let's show... No. Uh, let's see if I can show chat or commands only. There we go. Okay. Really? Slash home. Cannot send chat message. What? <sighs> okay. Let's just show it for now. I don't like to do that. going to hide the chat again because I, I don't want people to be angry. Some people don't like you to show their chat. I asked. I don't think anybody on right now would object, but just in case, I want to make sure everybody's cool. Alright, this is my home anyway. I uh, have built a bridge out here to cross this river, which is funny. I, I built right on the end of the river. <laughs> and I have a squid problem. I have a lot of squid out here. So basically, this is my house right here. That hill with the glass there. Let's turn that off. There we go. Cinematic camera. That's my that's my front door. That's the window you saw from inside. And there's my ice tray over there. And I'll show you that in a minute. Over this way to the southwest, I've got Giggle Monster. She has a place there. And this is Netrocus, N-E-T-R-O-K-U-S. -E and just beyond uh, Giggle Monster over there, they're building Monkey Estates. Let's see here. If I can get over here where you can see this giant disc, OS Tycoon is building over here. Come on. Hup. Yeah. I'm in the water. Okay. It's funny, you can see this thing from my backyard, but you can't see it now. Is that a cow? No, it's a sheep. Well... There it is. That's why you couldn't see it. <clears throat> Let's see here now. I can get over here and show what he's building. It's pretty cool. He's got this fenced off. Um, climb up here. Enter the jungle, and that's that's pretty good. As you can see, it's a pretty impressive structure with a lot of gold and a lot of iron in it. Uh, be interesting to see what he's going to turn it into. Um, don't know what's on top, but you can't even reach the thing from the ground, so. <laughs> You have to either ender pearl up there or fly up there, and I'm not going to intrude. So, let's go back over here to toward my house. What is this? 
uh, OS Tycoon, yep. So, <clears throat> he's got that claimed. I claim this valley here, and that's really all I want, is this little valley right here. No biggie, no big giant claim or anything. Oh, crack my legs again. And back here we've got a uh, rubble pile, I believe, has got that uh, claimed. And yeah, that's the area I live in now. When we're actually standing in my ice tray. Um, ice freezes quicker if it's against another surface. That's why I have these lines in here. It freezes quite a bit faster than if this was just one solid piece of, uh, some solid pond. Anyway, uh, I haven't found any cows yet, so all I have chickens and, uh, pigs. That's fine. They're supplying all the food I need. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a... I visited my brother last night again. I usually go on Saturday and Sunday nights. And he's a big smoker, so I end up coughing the next day. Alright, let's go over here since it's getting dark. Go in the house. And I'll show you around in there. This should look somewhat familiar here because it's pretty close to my old potions room. Uh, you come in here and... You've got your potions, your brewing stands all around. This is where I keep the, the finished potions. This is where I will keep the ingredients. And this here, well, that's my ender chest. It just kind of has stuff in it that I want to hold and access wherever I'm at. Oh, man, i got to eat. I'm running out of chicken. I'm sure I've got some more cooking somewhere. Hello, dogs. Look at that. I love this. <laughs> anyway, this is my chest room. Not nearly as fancy as the last one, but I uh, just decided I didn't want a big fancy chest room. You'll notice I've got these all over the place uh, because I can afford them. Uh, I have a lot of obsidian and I have a bunch of eyes of ender, so I, don't, I, I keep them where I need them. You noticed I had one over at the... Uh, Skelly farm. Down here we have my furnace room and a place to grow my cocoa beans, which I'm actually not, I haven't harvested these in a while. I love how this all stacks into one now. And I can plant uh, ten of them here. That usually, I'm, every time I harvest, I get thirty. So, I can plant 10 of them and take 20 back. Now let's put this away. This is my nether wart farm. Um, obviously you can grow nether warts in the overworld now. And more storage, secondary storage. This goes straight down into the, there's a mine shaft down there I've been exploring. Not much really. <laughs> Uh, mushroom farm. Now these things are supposed to grow regardless of light level if you have them growing on this mycelium. Um, I haven't seen that. They're not growing. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I don't know. I'd kind of like to get a mushroom farm going though. <laughs> My furnace room. I need to replace all that with stone, don't I? Okay. So, <clears throat> I think that's everything. Oh, my farm. I have a small vegetable farm up here. Or wheat and uh, melons and stuff. Oh, this is a chunk boundary. Right here, we're moving from one chunk into another chunk. One chunk into another chunk. And let me show you what I mean. They're, they're, I discovered that because of the way this is growing. And the only thing I can think is that we are using um, sort of a fork of craft bucket for as a server here. And you have to be within five chunks of something for the uh, leaves to decay or things to grow 
uh, that sort of thing. It doesn't lo load the chunks outside that. So that's the way I discovered that this is actually a chunk boundary because we've got Giggle Monster over there and she's here a lot. So this anything that happens inside this area, generally these are going to grow much quicker than here because let me pull up my map, my raised mini map. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. There. We are moving across that chunk boundary when we walk on this. So as you can see, um, sometimes these things don't grow. Now that one grew because I'm standing here. Uh, let's harvest these melons. Because as you can see, I uh, just love melons. Uh, anyway, harvest these guys. And I'll go put those away and we will go to spawn. I'll show you where my little donation hut is. I, I hadn't seen a place anyone had built yet that uh, for people to make donations. So I, if you remember from my any of my older... Uh, or some of my older videos, I had a zombie spawner, and so they sometimes drop <clears throat> iron tools and helmets and that sort of thing. <clears throat> so now we're going to go to spawn. Uh, there needs to be a better way to do this. There we go. And turn that back off. Chat settings. <clears throat> okay, this obviously marks spawn. Now, if you walk out of the spawn building, which is, this is our new spawn, made to look more like a small town than the giant, huge spawn that we've had <clears throat> a number of times in the past. Really, I, excuse me just a second, this is ridiculous. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, I'm really sorry about that. I try to get that stuff clear before I start recording. Uh, anyway, this is our spawn. It's meant to be a small place, kind of welcoming to guests and new people here. If I had known they were going to be building out of brick, I would have donated. They probably did it in creative mode anyway. <laughs> but I do have got a lot of brick, and which brings me back to over here. Anyway, so you walk out of spawn. <laughs> and um, you go this way. You turn to the north. And you go out and cross the bridge. And take a look at the nice scenery around. And walk, step into the side of the bridge. Uh, come on, run. There we go. <clears throat> Golden boots. Hmm, boots. <laughs> so, we got that way to the farm origin and library. I don't know what origin is. Uh, straight ahead is the new city center and the welcome center. This way, really, they'll. Okay, waterfront and new city park. This would be, I guess, Fountain of Blank. <laughs> Somebody's got some really annoying music here. It sounds familiar, though. Oh, I'm going to close Matt Joe P's building here. Okay, this here, this is my donation hut. It says, take what you need and leave what you can. And that's what it's here for. Come take stuff. If you have something you don't need, and just uh, leave it. The chests are locked public, so anybody can open them. There's some good stuff in here too. Look, for fire protection five or four. I actually enchanted that one yesterday and put it in here. But uh, sharpness two, knockback two on the sword, protection on some of the boots. Um, there's more. A couple of uh, <laughs> animus. 
and uh, there are things in here that everybody's welcome to take. Uh, yeah, that too. That music sounds really familiar, and I'm just not sure where from. It sounds vaguely Zelda-like. I wish I knew where it was coming from. Okay, anyway, I'm going back home. Uh, you've seen everything here that I had that I had come to show. I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't put something on top of that to make it look a little better. But I wanted to make sure it fit in with these, these other buildings here. <clears throat> so, I'm going back home. And I really wish you didn't have to do it this way. All right, now then. Not video settings. Options, chat settings. This is going to get tiresome quickly. I need to set that. I wonder if you can do that. There's a, a macro mod. I wonder if you can set that up to turn off your, hmm, your chat window like that. Anyway, this is it. This is my new home. You've seen everything. You've seen part of the spawn. You've seen my dogs. I can't wait to dye their colors when 1.4 comes out because I'll be able to tell them apart, give them, actually give them names. Now they're just dog, all of them. <laughs> Oh, my enchanting room. And you can enchant up to level 30 in this. There's, I have 15 uh, bookshelves around here. <clears throat> Which is all you need anymore. <laughs> okay, so I am going to finish this. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to take off. Let's take this armor off. I love how you can click it back on now. Shift click it. So, here I am. In my new place. I'm settled in. It's all good. Now I just can start improving things. So, until we see you, I meet you again next time, uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.